sounds beautiful. This nice is fabulous. To meet you. Thank you so much for coming. Now, how long have you been training? How long have you been studying ballet? Since I was three years old, 17 years. In a professional company. Wow. Well, that was absolutely beautiful. Thank you. Now, that was fa fantastic. This is Lauren. And Lauren, there's a lot of stuff going on this weekend. And if, for those of us that would love to be a ballerina like you guys, uh, you can take some dance sessions on Sunday. Yes, on Sunday we'll have uh, sessions at the Wortham in the... I guess in the alcove uh, for the theater district open house. And actually now I was dancing a piece from Bayad Air, which is gonna be this season at the Houston Ballet. So you can come down to the Wortham or to the Alley or to the Jones Hall or to, um, there's one more place. There's four, oh, there's four of them. There's four <laughs> venues, the big seven are gonna be there. We've got a Tickets. lot of free things going on on Sunday afternoon. A lot of, we got performances. You can get your favorite seat in any theater in the theater district. You can get it on sale on that day. So Sunday is the day to come downtown. So no. you just gave us a little sneak peek of what we can expect this season. What other uh, performances are we going to see? What other ballets are we going to see this season? We have our world premiere of The Nutcracker, <gasps> which everyone's been like, you know, yes! that's right, that's Where's right. The favorite? Nutcracker is always a, a, yes! it's a holiday favorite. We also have Cinderella. That's a coming oh, back. A classic. And then we have triple bills. We've got everything you could want this Lauren, year. you're also an instructor with the Houston Ballet, right? So do you want to teach Jennifer and me a little something? <laughs> yes. Are you guys ready? Okay. To? All right. Okay. So. Put these we gotta put these okay, down. Okay, we got to throw those away. Okay. Got it. You're the boy. She's the girl. Oh, That's we have to dance together. Too. Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. So I'm going to demonstrate now. Come here. This. I'm you and you're her. Okay. So okay. Oh. Oh, attitude front. Oh, wow. Oh, my goodness. Um, okay. Okay. Go. <laughs> okay, Walk in ready? a circle. Walk in a circle. Is that Lego? Walk. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh. Keep going, Darren. Keep going. Go, faster. Smile. Go faster. Smile. 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 This is fun and graceful. And Keep going. Wow. Go faster. Keep going. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> and stop. Oh okay. Oh, wait. Cross, your, cross that leg there. <laughs> Wow, you really enjoyed that, didn't you? Yeah, great. Yeah, you well, great. Our... That's a little sample of what folks can expect on Sunday. Sort of. <laughs> it won't quite look that way, but yes, yes. No, it's what not. they'll be seeing on Sunday is probably way better way than what they better just saw here. <laughs> no, that was absolutely fantastic. Thank Thanks. you so much. Thanks for having us. Cool. A lot of fun. Now let's talk a little bit of theater. Hand to God continues at Alley Theater tonight until Sunday. And the New Yorker magazine called it Sesame Street meets The Exorcist. That's kind of an interesting combo. Yeah, it definitely is. And tonight at the Miller Outdoor Theater, the Marvin Gaye Experience is a tribute to the legendary artist and includes music selections that span Gay's music making career. It's going to be tonight from 8 to 10. Come on, give me your best Marvin Gaye. Oh, let's Marvin Gaye get it on. That was like a, <laughs> I don't know. Um, that was about okay, as good as our dancing. Song, right? <laughs> but it's about Marvin Gaye, so we're going to count that. The 23rd Annual Theater District Open House is this Sunday in downtown Houston. It features free performances highlighting the upcoming season. From dance to music to theater and behind the scenes, you don't want to miss it. What a fun Sunday afternoon. So like, much to take do. Take the kids along and go have fun. Making my list. All right, let's move on to museums now. And on Saturday, you can take a journey with Curious George, oh, oh this sounds like so much him. fun. At the Children's Museum of Houston, make sure you bring your camera along. It takes place from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. and tickets are $12. Okay, sounds good. Now it is art attack time. Tonight, catch Fabiola, a lecture from artist Lauren Moya Ford at the Byzantine Fresco Chapel. She's gonna be speaking about her own interactions with art, church, and a failed romance. And on Sunday, the Museum of Fine Arts is hosting Sunday Fa uh, Family Zone. Families can drop in and enjoy games, books, and many tours of all the galleries. Oh, that sounds that nice. Sounds fun. Now, a while ago, I was able to catch up with artist Matt Kleberg. He is an artist who's based in New York now, but he's a Texas native whose art is in town until tomorrow. Take a look at this. He was born in Texas, but now he lives in New York, and he's turning heads in the art world. But for a very short time, you can see his work right here in Houston at the Hiram Butler Gallery. He is Matt Clayberg. How you doing, Matt? Doing great. Thanks great. for being here. Thanks for having us. Now, this is one of your pieces right behind us. You use bold stripes, bright colors. Is this an evolution of your style, or did you always paint like this? 
it's definitely an evolution. I, I used to make paintings with figures in them, and eventually through a kind of evolution of the work, the figures got plucked out, and what was left was that, that space. And so the paintings kind of turned into these theater sets and started to feel like architecture, and the stripes became a way to really activate what is otherwise kind of an empty painting. What does it mean for you to be back here in Houston at the Hiram Butler Gallery? Apart from being kind of a homecoming for me to show some paintings back in Texas after being away for a few years, uh, it's also just a treat to be in this, in this actual building and in this space um, and on these walls. Well, Matt, it's been great chatting with you. And remember, he is Matt Clayburg, Texas native, now living in New York City. And if you want to see his work, you better hurry because the show only runs at the Hiram Butler Gallery until August 27th. So thanks again, and we'll see you all soon. And remember, you just heard it now in the story, but Matt's work is running at the Hiram Butler Gallery just through tomorrow. So quick. Yeah, get over there soon. And when we return, we're celebrating Houston's 180th birthday.